Hey guys, Brian with Paradise Arcade Shop. I just wanted to actually show people uh, one of the techniques that was taught to me uh, by a guy back in Minnesota uh, for cleaning off chassis. Now, most of the time you can take them out of the uh, off the monitor and I can make a video on how to do that later. I've just pulled this out of the Neo Geo machine that I just got and you can hear the birds in the background. We're outside. We're going to clean off this monitor. What I like to use, I like to use a thing called crud cutter. You can get this stuff pretty cheap actually at Home Depot. It's not that expensive. And as much as this scares the heck out of most people, you just take it and start squirting it on. Um, what you'll find is that it just kind of coat everything. I probably go overboard with how much I put on here, but this stuff is pretty cheap. And uh, you'll see it hit the electronics and everything. One thing you need to be careful of is not going inside of the tube. Uh, I left the suction cup on for that reason. Uh, it seems to be well sealed. Uh, I don't think this thing has been taken out in 50 years. Well, not 50 years, but 20 years or whatever. Um, this was in the basement of a arcade locally. Uh, and actually the, the cabinet's in great shape, but all the side art is torn off, which is really sad. So you can see I'm just kind of coating everything here. Uh, getting a good layer. You can tell how much I use the crud cutter because I'm running low on the, on the misting. There we go. Make sure we get kind of all the angles here. There's the little, the neck board, which... I didn't get the front side on. You can even squirt the the wires connecting up here. Now, this stuff is pretty amazing. Um, let's get it squirting in here. So you can see just in the high voltage wire there, it went from black to red. Uh, you can use this on control panels that are covered in that grime that's 80 years old. Has everybody's uh, old skin cells and everything dying on it, uh, old keyboards, uh, really anything. It doesn't whiten plastics or do anything like that, but what it does is it gets rid of all this greasy, grimy junk stuff. So, you saw where we started, and now, the part that everybody gets really scared about, the hose. So nothing high pressure, um, and you can see here, that this gr grime and grease and all this stuff just washes right off. Now, for those of you who will say, oh, well, that would have happened if you just done nothing, um, I don't have another monitor to show you that actually the crud cutter makes an amazing difference. Uh, you can see up here in the corner, uh, there's some stuff that's not rinsing off that I didn't get with the crud cutter, but uh, you can look at the board. The board basically looks new. Uh, you do lose, uh, so I left it on the chassis um, to show for this demonstration. And so these stickers will get water damaged and there will be some loss there. And it is Hawaii, so if I leave this out, we're going to have problems with uh, corrosion on this. But what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take this monitor, now that it's washed off on that side, and I'm going to put it out in the sun and I'm going to let it bake. Uh, for a little while and just dry things off and I'll move this around. I may actually take the board out of the chassis there in a little bit. Uh, I'm not going to show that here, but that's how you wash a neck board and monitor board uh, chassis. Thanks for watching.